Greetings, Guardians. Do you like public events? Do you wish your public events were a little bit more heroic? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate all the different heroic public events. Starting with the Fallen Spider Tank. Kill the captain then get spawned in. Once you do, the spider tank will appear. Destroy the legs. Once you do, he'll spew out little arc nodes. Pick those up, deposit them inside of the shield generators. Once all the shield generators have been destroyed, it will begin the heroic public event. A second spider tank will appear. Feel free to use the cannons to destroy both of them. Once you do, collect your loot. For this next one, you're going to want to find a friend or wait for people to be around as this one is hard to do solo. Witches will spawn into the room. If you'll take notice, their shields make them immune. To get rid of those shields, you'll need to stand on the plates on either side of the room. As you stand on the plates, they will slowly light up. When finished, you'll notice the witches' shields drop. And this is when you can kill them. After you've killed both witches, you'll see in the tops of the pillars, two crystals will spawn with shields on them. Just like the witches, you need to stand on the plates until they are fully illuminated. Once so, destroy the crystals and the heroic public event will begin. A giant mob will spawn. As you can see here, if you stand underneath him when he attacks, you will die. Be careful, kill him, and gain your loot. Next up we have the Taken Blight. A giant ball of Taken Blight energy will form in the middle of a zone. All you need to do is locate one of the small blight shields that forms nearby. Dip in and out of it, which will then give you a buff called Receding Blight. Receding Blight allows you to deal damage to the giant blight ball. All you need to do is dip in and out, gain the buff, DPS down the blight ball. Once you do, it will crash down into the ground and summon a large mob. Kill that large mob and gain your loot. Onto the Cabal Excavation. The Cabal will drop down a Mining Lander. What you're going to need to do is stand near the Mining Lander. Be careful as there is a giant ship above you firing down a laser that will launch missiles and kill you instantly. Mobs will spawn constantly throughout this event. The one that you need to look out for is a Cabal Thresher ship. It's a red ship that flies down. Once you locate it, destroy it. As soon as you do, your heroic public event will begin. A major cabal will drop down. You will just need to kill him in order to collect your loot. Be warned though, there is a small warhound nearby. Kill him as well and you'll find yourself with some extra tokens and glimmer. Up next is the cabal injection rig. In order to activate its Parok public event, you will need to destroy three vents inside of it. Each vent will only open up after the first vent is destroyed. So, what you will need to do is kill the elite enemy that spawns with the injection ring. A shield will form around it. You'll need to stay inside the shield, but be warned, as you will take constant damage while inside. Pop all three vents, and the heroic public event will start. A giant enemy will fall down, and you will have to kill him. Once killed, you will gain your loot. And you'll get to watch this cool cutscene of the injection rig blowing up. Detonations tell me you've been exceptionally resourceful. I look forward to hearing the whole story. On to Glimmer Extraction. To activate this heroic public event, you will need to destroy three small projectors that are standing next to the Glimmer Drills during each phase of this fight. If you do not, don't worry, as they will all be there at the final Glimmer site. Once you have destroyed all three, the Glimmer Drill will drop down. Be careful not to stand under it as it will kill you if you are directly under it. Stand on top of the glimmer pile and begin transmitting it. As you can see in this video, I did not transmit all the glimmer in time to complete this public event. But if you'll notice, I am still standing on the glimmer pile and it is still transmitting even though the timer has reached zero. So long as you stay on the glimmer pile and you don't die, you can kill everything and finish transmitting all the glimmer. Once you do, collect your loot. And now we have Ether Resupply. 
In order to activate the heroic section of this public event, you will need to destroy three small servitors that appear underneath the servitor when he has reached a certain health point. Once you do, the heroic public event will begin. The giant servitor will become very angry and begin to attack very quickly and deal more damage. All you have to do is finish destroying the servitor and you'll be able to collect your loot. And finally, we have Disrupt Vex Construction. When you start this public event, you will see a Vex Construction appear. Three beams of energy will exit from inside of it. Follow one of these beams to its end and you will find a small circle. Stand in all three circles and it will begin the Heroic Public Event Mode. You will want at least two people for this, yourself and someone else. One person needs to go and stand on the different plates, the other person needs to stand near the center of the construction and kill anything that comes near it. Once all three plates are activated, the heroic public event will begin. All you need to do is survive and allow no enemy to integrate with the center construction 10 times. If you do, you succeed. If 10 integrations occur, you will fail this public event. After you are finished, collect your loot. Well, there you have it Guardians, all the public events and how to activate their different heroic modes. Should you have any questions, feel free to comment below, otherwise like and subscribe, and always remember Guardians, aim steady and keep your wits about you. Bye!